Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about manipulation and brainwashing again. I've touched on this in many different videos in many different forms. For example, religion is meant for manipulation and brainwashing, which is completely true. But one way I haven't talked about yet is how manipulating and brainwashing is very prominent in our products. Granted, I have talked about modern products and old products and how older stuff is more durable. Um, I've talked about it other ways too. But one way that's the most important and more prominent because you see this when you go outside. If you ever look at buildings, and yes, I'm talking about buildings. Buildings, companies, restaurants. One thing that many people don't recognize because these changes are very subtle, but what it's meant to do is it's meant to make people more zombified. Make people like, basically to slow down the brain. Now before I tell you what I'm referring to, let me tell you how this concept is actually true. Psychologically, people's brains are more stimulated when they see something that's creative. Whether it be architecture that's creative or something colorful. This is actually why if you ever go into places that don't want the people to be stimulated, like if you ever go into like a nursing home, like a very dead nursing home run down, you may notice that all of them, they always paint the walls a very boring color, like black, gray, and white. Very rarely do you see stimulating colors like red, blue, green, etc. Because color actually stimulates the mind, makes people more excited and they want to get moving. When people see things that are gray and dead, it makes people kind of feel down. It makes people kind of feel slow and not really energetic. That's why people usually feel a lower energy level when it rains because everything looks more dead and wet and gray and the sky is not shining, all that kind of stuff. And they do this in nursing homes a lot because they actually want the residents there to be down. Um, it's a government thing really, but the idea is that, for one thing, <laughs> the, residents, the residents at these places can die off faster. But then also, they want them to be less stimulated, so that they cause less problems when they're at these places. If they're not stimulated, they won't be as energetic and, you know, any mental illnesses they may have, because they're old, won't be as prominent or troublesome to other people because they'll be more down and, re and relaxed and not even relaxed, but just won't be giving off energy. And that's actually what these colors do. It's been proven, psychological fact that stimulating colors like red, green, blue, and then things like gray actually lower a person's energy level. Now these things aren't just tied to old people at these rundown nursing homes. This actually applies to the entire world. When you look at modern, Again, modern sucks, we've proven that already. But now let's go into a category that I didn't even talk about in the old versus new rant. How modern also is meant to zombify the masses. We've talked about this with certain things, like for example, phones. Phones are meant to be mass produced and keep everyone in the world looking like this. So nobody ever puts their head up and looks at the world or talks to anybody or is social. Have you ever noticed that in very modern cities, modern towns, whenever a new building is built, it's always in the shape of a very boring box. Let's, let's think about a modern store. Look at the Apple store. <laughs> it looks like something out of a video game. Long tables with nothing on them except one laptop. The whole thing is white. There, it, It's just a box of a store, right? These things are designed this way to de-stimulate a person's brain senses and make them more like, you know, like a zombie. They actually do this intentionally. This is the way the world works now because people, people in the government, they want everybody to be like a zombie. That's why phones are the way they are. Modern technology is the way it is. It all ties together. I know I sound like I'm trailing off, but all these things tie together as one. Look around, now I, I live in a very modern city. The city I live in is very modern, I absolutely hate it. There's no nice architecture here. All of the stores, buildings, they're just boxes. But if you go into a place that has old architecture, think of somewhere like Toronto, or London, England, or basically any old town or any old country, you'll notice that 
the architecture is beautiful. You ever you ever seen like a church from like 19 uh, you know 1920 or something like that? The architecture is beautiful. That's the kind of architecture you'd see back in the 1920s or the 1800s. You find architecture of buildings and churches and things like that with beautiful architecture. And you see this a lot in old cities like London, England. However, modern cities, everything is built like a box. And this also applies to modern restaurants and companies. For example, have you ever looked at modern logos? And if you take a look, all of the old logos used to have beautiful designs and beautiful colors. But yet the modern logo is boring. It's just a bland word. It has no, the color's been taken away or the, you know, fancy font has been changed to like a boring thing. This is only a few examples of many different logos that were changed. And the older logo had more beautiful colors and, you know, fun designs, but then the modern one is just boring and bland. And some people wonder, well, why do companies intentionally make their logos less appealing? Now, granted, they do want to change it because they consider change just moving into the future, even if they're doing a bad job. But that's the way the future is in general anyway. <laughs> However, the main reason is because of brainwashing. The, they want everybody to be like a zombie. And the way to do that is to make everything look the same and anything that did have color or design is removed because that helps with the brainwashing. When people see creative colors or creative designs, it stimulates their brain. Whereas if they see something boring, bland, boxy, and a very boring design, it helps to manipulate and brainwash the brain to be not stimulated. And it makes it, makes it so that the masses don't overthink things, don't ask questions. It's just a way to make your mind move slower to kill the mind's creative process. All of these things tie together as one, and it does affect the brain very negatively. And this is actually one of the big reasons why, in general, the masses are so dumb, and why everybody walks around like this. So remember, one of the best ways to keep people in line, like religion, is to just remove the senses and keep people going in the direction that they want. So, just like with modern technology, things like religion, even companies and buildings being changed is enough to change the way that your mind develops. Because if you don't stimulate the mind, you can't grow it.